Over 25 years ago, Alumask introduced the UK's original external wall insulation system. And since then, we have been at the forefront of developing innovative, energy-efficient solutions. Alumask is a British manufacturer and distributor of external wall insulation systems, renders and decorative coatings, which combine outstanding thermal performance, long-term weather protection and aesthetic vibrancy. Backed by our parent company, Alumask Group PLC, we ensure compliance with current building regulations and health, safety and environmental requirements. Alumask offer a variety of external wall insulation systems, with our longest established system being Swiss Lab, which was originally certificated by the British Board of Agrimont in 1993. To install the Alumask Swiss Lab system, the following steps must be followed. Before work commences, all the necessary preparation procedures must be put into force. A U-value must then be calculated. This measures the rate of heat loss through existing walls and determines the type and thickness of insulation required. All of Alumas insulation systems meet current building regulations and are independently tested and certified. A pull-out test must be completed prior to installation of the external wall insulation system to ascertain and specify the correct and suitable fixing and fixing pattern for application. The external wall must be clean and dry before fungicidal wash is applied to remove any algae. To start installation, extended sills must be fitted if required. A recommended overhang of a minimum of 40 millimeters must be achieved. Base beads are installed at the damp proof course or above and are fixed at 300 mm centres. Adjacent beads are linked together with jointing clips. If the substrate is uneven, packers may be required to maintain the line and level of the base bead. There are many types of insulation available from Alumask, including phenolic, PIR, standard EPS, grey EPS, mineral wool and cork. Gloves should be worn when handling insulation boards and when rendering. The first board should be fitted in line with the base bead. The insulation is fixed into place centrally using the correct fixings. No insulation board under 200mm in width should be used. Boards are typically cut with a fine tooth saw. Insulation boards are installed in a brick bond fashion and is stagger bonded on external corners, then trimmed later to form a straight edge. This process is repeated until the full elevation is completed. Particular attention is paid to ensure insulation L-shapes are formed around all openings. Fixings are then installed as per the Alumas project specification. Additional fixings are required on all external corners and openings at 300mm centres. Sills should be protected using appropriate methods. An adhesive is mixed with the recommended amount of water and is used to fix 20mm thick insulation to window and door reveals as required. Alumas scrim adhesive and the specified amount of water are thoroughly mixed using a paddle mixer to achieve the desired consistency. Leave for 5 minutes and remix prior to use. The product is then applied by trowel to the insulation boards at approximately 3mm thick. While the adhesive is still wet, Embed the reinforcement scrim using 75mm overlaps, making sure the scrim is fully covered and not visible. Reinforcement scrim is to be returned into window reveals and around external corners. Additional 500 by 250mm scrim patches are installed at external corners of all openings. Use a paintbrush to clean interfaces with the window and sills to prevent unsightly staining. Once the reinforcement coat is cured, apply sufficient silicon mastic sealant to all interfacing junctions to prevent water ingress. Cut surface mounted external corner beads and fix to the opening reveals and corners with plastic fixings at 300mm centres. Combine the Alumas base coat with the specified amount of water and paddle mix to the desired consistency. Leave for 5 minutes and remix prior to use. 
Apply the base coat to the cured reinforcement coat, working up to corner beads and base beads. After approximately one hour, in favourable conditions, the base coat will be ready. Now sponge float the base coat to achieve a flat, even surface. Once the base coat is fully cured, apply silicon primer with either a paintbrush or roller. When the silicon primer is touched dry, using a paddle mixer, mix the silicon top coat with one cup of water, 250 milliliters maximum. Apply the silicon top coat with a stainless steel trowel to the thickness of the grain. Rub the silicon top coat with a plastic float in circular motion to achieve a consistent finish. Other Alumask external wall insulation systems are available, with a variety of finish coats suited to project requirements. The range of alternative finishes available to use with the Swiss Lab external wall insulation systems include acrylic brick slips, traditional brick slips, brick effect render, aggregate dash. What does installing an Alumask external wall insulation system offer? Well, placing insulation on the outside of the building structure is the most effective way of insulating a building, the T-Cozy effect. This protects the building from the elements, keeping it warm and prolonging its life. An externally insulated building or home benefits from reduced heat loss, lower fuel bills, a smaller risk of condensation and a reduction in CO2 emissions. The building facade is transformed, resulting in the wide choice of coloured textured finishes available. Particularly suited for the solid wall construction, Alumask external wall insulation systems are fully supported with comprehensive technical advice and project support. When choosing an external wall insulation for your building, choose the best. Choose Alumask.